Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's Son channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. To this person, I want you to pay attention. There is nothing that has not happened around you. Like, when I mean nothing, a lot of things that the enemy have always used to pursue you. But God is saying that despite all the things that they, are, they have used to pursue you, when you look at the back, you will realize that they have never caught you. No matter how close they are. You know, like they pursue you with different kinds of things. You can see, like you can feel that the enemy have really pursued you. If you should sit down and think about your life experience, you will realize that how much they have pursued you. They have really pursued you with everything possible that they have. They are pursuing you with everything possible that they can, you know. But one thing stands out in this message. You have not been caught. And the Lord is saying to you that they will still, you will still not be caught. No matter what is ahead, no matter what is behind you, you understand? But God is your, is your strong tower. Hallelujah. God is your strong tower. I say again, hallelujah. Because then there is nothing they have not done to pursue this person. In the dream, you see police pursuing you. In the physical, they have planned, they are threatening you. Many things have happened spiritually, physically, but you have not been captured. This is to tell you that your life will still not be captured by your enemy. It is just a direct prophetic word to somebody. They have pursued you. It's just like the way Pharaoh pursued the children of Israel, you know, when he pursued them after he has learned that, oh, they have left. He said, why did we allow the slaves to go? Why do we allow the laborers to go? He said, go after them. They pursue. It is not just in that pursuit. You know, Pharaoh have already pursued them with a lot of things. You know, with punishment, with all of that and all of that, making life a living hell for them. So there are different kinds of pursuit I'm seeing in my spirit. It might be that they might, they might have pursued you with, you know, with just give up, with discouragement and all of that and rejection. But in all of that, you have not been captured. This is to tell you that the enemy cannot capture you because you are in the strong tower of the Lord. Hallelujah. I will encourage you to stay in the tower of the Lord. Because in the tower of the Lord, there is protection. Yes, stay in the tower of the Lord. In the tower of God, there is preservation. Hallelujah. Stay in the tower of the Lord. In the tower of the Lord, there is fulfillment. Glory to Jesus. Because no matter who is planning now to keep pursuing you, to call the police, to pursue with army, to pursue with physical or spiritual police, whatever it is, they cannot capture you. Hallelujah. For he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Glory to Jesus. Yes, he that abide under the shadow, he that dwelleth in the secret place of God. So continue to dwell in the secret place of God. There is a place called the secret place of the Lord. There is a place called the secret place of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says they shall abide those that dwell there. So dwell there. Dwell in the secret place of the Lord. They are planning to call the police. Dwell in the secret place of the Lord. They cannot capture you. They are planning to pursue you with voodoo power. Dwell in the secret place of the Lord. They cannot capture you. They are planning to pursue you with sickness. Dwell in the secret place of the Lord. They cannot capture you. They are planning to kill you. Dwell in the, in the secret place of the Lord. They cannot kill you. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You just have to dwell, just dwell in that presence of God. Dwell in the secret place of the Lord. Dwell in the place of God. Dwell in that place. Let God be all and all in your life. No matter how they plan to get you arrested, let it be by witchcraft. Let it be by the physical pursuers of life. Let it be by witches and wizards. Let it be by the occult. Let it be by even your neighbors and your co-workers. The evil in this generation is very too hard. It is very hard, but God said, dwell in a secret place. When you dwell in a secret place, I tell you, you will not be captured. May your enemy not be able to capture you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the 
<clears throat> with our love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.